Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have my keto for one grocery haul and meal plan. Thought I would show you what I picked up and what I'm planning on cooking for the week. All right, let's get to it. First we'll go over the grocery haul and then I will show you what I bought or what I'm making. I spent about $35 between Aldi and Target, and let me show ya. I got my sweetener, $2.99, buy it every week. Three creams, that's gonna be part of my dinner. I got a dozen eggs, they were 88 cents. Um, two bricks of cheese, these were $1.69. They get cut up with the salami. I bought another one of these, I'm really liking these guacamole singles. And the thing for me, I'm gonna spend a little more, but I have less waste making my own which i totally could do it doesn't stay fresh as long and so i end up wasting money in the long run so these little six mini cups stay fresh in my fridge so i grabbed some more of those because i really like them pork rinds for breading for my one of my meals and to eat with the guacamole i picked up some vinegar actually at the dollar tree for cleaning I picked up some Parmesan cheese for part of my dinner. I got two radishes this week. I think I'm going to cut them up and just eat them raw. I've been really craving like raw veg. Um, some ibuprofen, buck ninety nine for 100 tablets for my shoulder because that's what you do when you hurt. <laughs> right. And a small spaghetti squash to go with my dinner as well. Now, my big deal of the week. Oh, I'm so excited. Actually, there's two, but one is already cut up in the freezer. Um, at Target, I got a whole smoked ham, $11 ham for $5 with a cartwheel offer. So I cut that up into three portions, and that'll be talked about here in a minute. And then yesterday, I picked up these Fresh Cuts Thin Sliced Chicken Breast. This is vegetarian fed, no animal byproduct, raised on, uh, they're cage free, no hormones, no ster steroids, no antibiotics. This is some very clean chicken. Um, I paid 71 cents for this package. And I paid 71 cents for this package. $1.31 and $1.09. So less than $5. And I've got about four pounds of organic chicken breast, thinly sliced. So what I'm gonna make with this is some chicken parm. I'm gonna bread them with some ground pork rind and add some ground up Parmesan cheese to it and some spices and seasonings and bake it and then serve it over spaghetti squash with a little bit of tomato sauce that I already have on hand. So that's one of my meals for the week. Um, let's pull this out. Sorry, my arm is hurting today. All right, so my meal plan. Hard boiled eggs for breakfast along with sausage and egg bake, which is at the bottom. I'm gonna cut up the cheese and have salami and cheese for my part-time job too, I like to take that. I'm gonna make cheesy riced cauliflower with ham chopped up in it and make like a casserole out of that. And then the chicken parm with spaghetti squash. That will be plenty for the week for breakfast, lunches, and dinners. And it was all, plus what I have on hand, for about $35. Um, I'm adding on the back end of this video any cooking that I do, which I'm not sure I'm kind of in a rush for time today. But also, I did a little test to see how sucralose, which is Splenda, affects my blood sugar. And that gets added to the end of this as well. But there's my haul for today, guys. I'll be back. Alrighty, we're going to do a little cooking out of my Keto Living Day by Day book. I love this book. I had it spiral bound at Staples, but we're gonna make some creamy Alfredo sauce to go with rice cauliflower and some ham. I bought this ham at Target. It was $5 for an entire huge ham that I broke up into smaller manageable portions. I'm gonna make a big serving of it and then take care of things from there. I've got some eggs back here boiling for breakfast this week, so we're getting our prep on. So let me readjust the camera and I will show you what we're making. Alrighty, and here I've got three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream, two ounces, let me bring you a little closer here, two ounces of cream cheese, 
and a stick of butter. And this needs to melt. You wanna do it kind of over low heat. You do not want it breaking. Then I'm gonna add garlic, salt and pepper, and nutmeg. And then, once all that comes to temperature, I'm going to add five ounces of Parmesan cheese, and that's one whole container of this I get at Aldi. And what this will do is make basically a keto version of an Alfredo sauce, super clean. And then the, right now I have the cauliflower back here, my rice cauli, two bags, two 12 ounce bags I believe, cooking. Because I don't want to bake this, I don't have time today. Normally I could put it in frozen or whatever, or put it in the oven, but not necessary. And so once that's cooked, I will combine with the sauce and the ham. But this sauce has a little way to go because I do have it on low. And then what I do, I have these containers from the Dollar Tree. I portion it out into however many servings I can get, depending on what I'm cooking. Now you can either eat it all week for lunch, which is probably what I'll do, or part of my cook ahead plan is I make something large since I'm cooking for one, portion it out and then stick it in my freezer. And then if I, you know, thinking ahead enough, I'll have plenty of options in the freezer and I can just grab what I feel like that day. Um, I did eat through all of my freezer cooking when I was out on my surgery. So I don't have a bunch of stuff in there to choose from this week, which is fine. I'll eat this and then I'm going to make the chicken parm, which I'll cook for you another day. And then I have hard boiled eggs in the back for breakfast with some cheese. So let me get all this melting. I need this cream cheese block to melt. I'll bring you back and show you when I add the rest of the ingredients. Woohoo guys, it is time for the magic to happen in this sauce. Sorry for the metal sound. I just, I have to whisk and I don't have a plastic one. Okay, so that's in here. I'm putting a garlic, it calls for a teaspoon. That's sort of a teaspoon. I mean, in somebody's world, I'm sure that's a teaspoon. I love garlic. Not gonna lie. Got the teaspoon of the garlic in there. We need pepper and I like lots and lots of pepper in my Alfredo sauce. That's me, you do you. Salt, and again, it needs some salt. There's not a whole lot going on, although the ham will be salty and so will the Parmesan. Okay, done. We need some nutmeg. Use whatever, and you don't have to put nutmeg in here. I prefer, so I do. And this is a nutmeg, actual nut in the microplane. You can use it what you got if you have ground already. I just happen to have this. And you don't need a whole lot, just a couple scrapes of it. It helps with white sauce for whatever reason. I don't know the answer. <gasps> oh, look at that, and now the cheese. And all we want is for this to melt. My cauliflower looks done, but do you see what's happening? And it will take a few minutes. I'll get a different spoon out here in a sec. It takes a few minutes for all the cheese to melt into the cream. In this situation, I don't know if I would use the powdered. I guess I've never used the powdered. I buy this Parmesan at Aldi. And it, it was $1.99, but again, this is gonna make me several meals. So that's kind of where I save the money because cooking for one is expensive. You know, I the way I'm frugal is I buy what I can buy. I try not to waste food very much so. So I cook what it is, portions if I can break it down you know, and freeze some like I did with the ham, that's perfect. But if I can't, or, you know, I just make enough, I make what it's in the package, and then I um, portion it out to eat it so I don't waste. Right, Kitty? What you doing over there? 
These cats are crazy. All right, so it looks like the cheese is almost all melted in. Look at that. Now, if you would like it a little thinner, you can add some stock to it. I prefer it like this. I'm adding in a ham, and this is not quite a third of that ham. But again, there's no real measurements here. I think like cheesy potatoes with ham. That's what I'm kind of going for, but it's cauliflower. And the ham is fully cooked. Now I got my cauliflower going here. I'm draining it in a colander. And you want to really try to get as much of the water out as you can. Alrighty. And then once I have it all together, let me turn the stove off. I'll taste it again, salt and pepper or whatever. And this will definitely make five lunches for me, maybe more. And then I'll just, like I said, freeze it and have it another day. So I basically make my own clean keto frozen dinners. But that, my friends, is cheesy cauliflower and ham. I guess, that's what I'm calling it. I mean, that is delicious. I can already tell you it needs more pepper. Mmm, 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 mmm. Shut the front door. That is so good. And I know for a fact, that it will heat up well, and it also freezes well. So if you wanna make this ahead, put it in the freezer, take it out, put it in the oven, bake it up. You can even put a little more Parmesan cheese on top. And if you're not keto, some breadcrumbs on top. If you are keto, some pork rinds on top. But that, my friends, is delish. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and I will talk to you later.